Pretty Cubs, what's brewing? Welcome back to the channel. Sorry for leaving you for a week there. I uh, I was hoping to have a video out some point midweek, but I swear work has been a little bit of a dumpster fire this year so far and I'm finding it quite time consuming to manage. So unfortunately, haven't been able to keep up as much as I would like. Uh, not helping matters is the fact that it's a little bit um, late for espresso based drinks at the moment. We're coming up on like 6.40. So I've got apple tea, which I feel is not gonna be enough. So I know I've missed quite a few videos. We're gonna briefly mention the more recent ones, which is uh, Salah's birthday video, or a tiny bit of that anyway. And I think I'll just do a straight react to Chantelle's Thai food mukbang because her pre-recordeds are fairly easy to cut down after. So as I can't quite remember what I reacted to last, sorry about that, um, we started the week, I do remember, being more overtly mad at reactors uh, than she has been for a while, actually. It's stuff with her and FFG were going down. Um, I had a brief community tab rage, and from what I understand, a few reaction channels got demonetized. Uh, most notably, Just Breezin, who Chantelle has been quite vocal about in the past. I'm presuming it was her, it might have been someone Chantelle adjacent, but a few of the things got reported. But it left Chantelle feeling quite smug and, again, quite vocal about it, which is always a good look on her. I realise that neither she nor I follow Christian religious practices, but uh, what is it they say about pride cometh before a fall? But speaking of fools, she was doing her best to... Uh, not fall afoul of the new YouTube regulations. I believe we did discuss that briefly last time. I swear, guys, my memory is just blanked right now on <laughs> whatever I spoke to you about last time. Uh, but she seems to be being a little bit more careful about it. I know that Eugenia Cooney's TikTok, I think it was, got taken down. But as far as I'm aware at the moment, it hasn't impacted her YouTube. I might be misremembering that. Uh, but she just seems a little bit more nervous and it seems like she's deliberately trying to set her content to take a step back from the ED discussion. So before we get into her Thai food mukbang, her recent one, we're going to look at a very brief section of Salah's birthday live. Um, as it was mostly boat and mostly boring, we're not going to look at it all, but just a few clips at the start. So we'll start with this. Um, this was a picture of the Patine place, which is apparently where they went for lunch. Now we can see the walls have been painted. They used to be covered in those messages. That struck me as a little bit odd and slightly convenient timing. Uh, I was wondering if perhaps they got wind of the discussion that some people were having, including, I think I mentioned this in my last month, uh, month oh Jesus, I did not give you a mukbang last time. A sip of drink, that's what I'll give you. In my last video, <laughs> I mentioned that someone had said uh, something on the wall was unflattering about the food. Apparently it was local slang or local dialect, and it actually means it's good. But I wonder if they got wind of it and just decided to take the notes down rather than potentially be maligning their own business. Uh, however, it could simply be that they had planned to paint it the whole time. You know, it's all speculation and shade, but the timing was interesting. Salah does have a message for us about the poutine place though. Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are starting the video with some poutine for lunch. It was my choice by the way, because it's my birthday and I cannot get enough of poutine since I tried it. We also share this delicious dip of fried fish, pita bread with hummus, salad, and a type of yogurt dip for the fish. And I don't know about you, but I am very convinced. Um, I feel it's more likely that the fish bread hummus mix thing was his meal and that the patines were for uh, her. I mean, you can't convince me last time he was actually eating it that he enjoyed it. He looked like it was not fun. I'm gonna bless us all by not going into the boat trip. We don't really see anything in that vlog. She was really stretching it out to basically, we went to a place we've already been for lunch and look, we're on a boat. And apparently more about the day is upcoming. So I guess we'll see it soon. So let me just queue up her Thai food mukbang and we'll get to this. Man, I was really close to saying, let's get to, let's get to there. And it concerns me. Well, hello. Sorry, she sounds a bit loud in my ears. 
I look like Ethan. For those of you who are new, Ethan, where I used to, when I used to live in Canada, was like a neighborhood kid who would just like randomly show up on your porch if he was bored with like weird hats. So anyway, <laughs> wouldn't pause then. Um, I remember Ethan because mainly she seemed to have an absolutely uncontrolled revulsion for kids. So watching her try to be natural when he surprised her was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Welcome. Welcome. Assalamu alaikum. I am going to eat. So bismillah. Today we are having. All right. Struggle with that for a second. This looks like such an odd combination of food. All right. Let's let's listen to her. There's a little package of like some kind of sauce. I don't know what it is. I think it's like oh fish sauce with chili. There we go. Just read the label, Chantel. Yeah. It sounds a bit like oh, do I know the Thai for this? Pritnon pla, I think. Some combination of those sounds. Uh I had a video come up on YouTube a little while back and I made a batch of it and it's fish sauce, lime juice. Uh, chopped chilies and then you can add other stuff. I added some garlic and some shallots thinly sliced and it's actually really nice on quite plain food. I usually have it on eggs. Just read the label. So I'm gonna put this on because I love these sauces. I love, uh, since I've been here my spice tolerance level has gone up. I mean you've been there long enough. And my admiration for it as well. All right so this is gonna be messy. So I why? Here's my question. When she said, oh, it's going to be messy. You have a rice dish, which you can use cutlery for. You do have spring rolls, which I would say are more a finger food, but they're contained in a wrapper. And you've got sausages for some bizarre reason. So why is this going to be messy unless you make it messy? I have a Coca-Cola. I have a cheesecake blueberry for dessert, some sausages and some spring rolls, vegetable spring rolls, some Thai holy basil, actually this is called Ka Pao and it's a dish I'll get to in a minute. I had last year, there was a guy who worked here who had a wife who was from Thailand and she used to have a little group where she did uh, Thai cooking and she'd deliver it to us and she used to make this and it was delicious. But again, a weird combination of food. I get fried rice and egg, I get spring rolls with the meal as a side, although these look quite big. When she used to do the, the big spring rolls, they were a meal themselves, she'd just sell them with a dip, so it feels like these might be two. You could convince me, okay, some blueberry cheesecake for the end if you're looking for a dessert, but where do the sausages fit in here? I don't get it. Um, stir fried. So basically, I'll get to it now. Actually, kap kao is a traditional Thai dish, almost I would say second most popular to um, pad Thai. It's a stir fried minced meat, usually some kind of meat. Uh, it looks this nice. is a halal Thai food place, so it's actually ground chicken, and it's stir fried with Thai holy basil, chili, um, different kinds of uh, maybe oyster Might sauce, fish it. sauce, chili. <laughs> Maybe for sauce. You can do this, Chantal. Come on, tell us. Please and garlic. And it's placed on rice. That's why it's called kap kao. And there's a fried egg. So fried egg on top. I thought she didn't really like eggs. I love a fried egg on top of my meal. We used to have an ad in England that says, uh, eggs make a meal out of anything. I think it was how it went. And I was like, I agree. Mm -hmm. uh, and here we go. Now fried eggs. I know I don't usually like random eggs, but actually on... She addressed it. Sorry. <laughs> some, thai, some Thai dishes, the way they fry the egg and the way the yolk mixes with everything, it's delicious. delicious. I agree. So, I don't have a fork, so I'm going to eat these with my hands. Why doesn't she have a fork? You know what I think? I think that she got the, maybe the spring rolls. I think the sausages were not with the restaurant that she got this from. I think they're probably extra from like the 7-Eleven or something like that. Because when she's bought the rice... They've given her the spoon because you can eat rice with the spoon and the spring rolls are finger food. So just go get yourself some cutlery, man. They appear to be in like an apartment, maybe, because she's got space to do the mukbang. It could just be a hotel room, I suppose. But it seems like they've moved into some kind of Airbnb kind of situation. Do they not have basic kitchenware? This is like a... That doesn't look nice. Sausage? Chicken sausage? 
Is she sure that's chicken? It looks very red. Now, obviously, there's a lot of artificial dyes. We'll talk about that in a minute because, you know, so many chemicals in, in Coca-Cola, in the diet Coca-Cola. But let's talk about the Frankfurter she's eating. Um, <laughs> it could be chicken, absolutely. But it looks very pink, very red for that. I, I feel like I would believe beef before I believe chicken. They could be. I'm not saying she's a liar. I'm saying maybe she's mistaken. It's an odd color. It tastes like they've been cooked in like maple syrup or something. Again, sausage, sweet. I feel like that might not be what you think it is. It's a bit sweet. Very yummy. See the size of those spring rolls? Like, those are meant to be a meal, I'm sure. Or at least a very large size dish. Probably not with all this. A sweet sauce. That was a lot on the sand, but mm. at least they were crispy. If she ordered the food, then it would have taken a little while to get there. Oh, if she ordered the food, maybe the sausages did come from the restaurant. Because she probably wouldn't have gone to 7-Eleven as well. Who knows? Oh, wow. That's the best spring roll. It's an odd thing, though. She's obsessed with showing us the inside. We can't see anything. We don't need to see it a second time, certainly. This is just a 7-Eleven cheesecake, if I get there. Oh, so 7-Eleven cheesecake. I'm guessing they, the sausages came from 7-Eleven then. Sorry, I'm going back and forth. I did technically watch this before, but because it was on in the background while I was getting ready to go get my groceries, I wasn't really taking it in. So they did make a trip to 7-Eleven. <laughs> Usually, I eat my dessert, like, a little bit after I eat, but... She definitely doesn't eat it all at once, you guys. It's not a binge. It's not a binge. Don't cancel me, YouTube. Completely reasonable, man. That egg looks lovely. Yeah. I might have eggs for dinner. Runny yolk? Yum. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> it's hot. I can see the steam. So, was the rice street food and then the other stuff 7-Eleven? I wonder. None of this matches. <laughs> Why am I wondering? Soft, soft yolk egg. God, that could be my tagline on channel. Instead of like, hey teacups, what's brewing? None of this matters. Why am I wondering? Egg with the fried white. Everything tastes better fried with garlic and chili, even egg. So that's not, you know? True. What do you mean even egg? Especially egg. Beauty bite! Mm. Could she get her face closer to that food? Ma'am. Take a step back, it ain't gonna run away. Ooh, egg yolk is rich. Mm. She's having quite a dramatic reaction to this. Salah is on the porch eating. Why? <laughs> to let me film. So this came out the same time as his birthday, um, his birthday day recording thing. So it could easily have been filmed a different time, but even if it's not his birthday, it's worse if it's his birthday, but even if it's not, why would you not just eat together? Just for the one day. But he ordered himself some shawarma. He loves he loves his Arabic food. I love Arabic food too, but uh, I'll get to eat it a lot when I'm in Kuwait in the Middle East. One thing I will give Foodie is that she's always been willing to try other foods. Like, yes, she tends to default to very beige junk food crap, but she'll try some things in the moment. And honestly, you guys have been asking for some more Thai food, so here you go. Yes, thank you, whoever requested that. Mm, you can almost not even taste the egg. It just adds like a, a creaminess from the yolk. Everything's creamy, has to be. The basil, I love it. Asia, like certain countries, um, love to use basil traditionally. Cambodia, Vietnam, Thailand. Um, the Thai basil is, it's like, it's got more of a bite. It's almost like, has like a hint of like anise to it. That's actually the one thing I don't like about Thai basil. I can't stand certain foods. There's few, but, but the, the hatred is intense. So I hate licorice in all its forms. I hate celery in all its form, which is really sad because it forms a base of so many soups and stews and things. And I know it's good for you. I just, it taints everything it's in. <laughs> and I feel that way about licorice as well. So I tend to, like, I, I understand what it adds to the dish, but I 
don't love it. I suddenly, she put the whole thing in her mouth. You know I used to pick is? out the big pieces before it's I ate. like licorice. This food is bomb and it's halal. -ala. <laughs> I think I'm a little sad that medium quality takeout food is making you this happy. Mm. <laughs> I'm a craving Thai spring rolls. And cravings must be answered. Yum. I love this egg. But she definitely doesn't have a problem. I, I, the only time I love egg, actually I love deviled eggs as well. I do make them at home. When was the last time you did? I think actually she did make them once in uh, Kuwait, didn't she? But I, d I don't think she does that very often. Eat them with pita bread or whatever. I love the chilies, oh my gosh. Mm, such a strange addition. <laughs> I can't get over the sausages. I don't, I don't know why it's, it's um, sticking in my mind like this, but. Little chicken sausages. Foodie, people are still watching. Say something. Foodie. I honestly really believe that diet soda is not healthy as well as full sugar soda, so whatever. Foodie, say something less stupid. I realize I wasn't specific. I'll drink the full sugar. Of course you will. There's some like... I don't know, there's some weird chemicals in diet soda. And the more that, you know, the more that comes out, the more afraid it makes me to drink it. The more afraid? Not like, oh, I'm not too sure. Afraid? No, I don't think so. But also, how many chemicals do you think are in that cheesecake? In terms of setting it all, having it on the shelf for as long as it goes. You know, what do you think are in the sausages she's scarfing down right now? Are they 100% brilliantly natural? They organic. This is one that has less sugar apparently, but it's just like still natural sugar. That kills me. Okay, <laughs> I'm not gonna have a big side rant about this. Her belief that things that are natural cannot be harmful. Like sugar is natural, it comes from a plant. Cocaine, <laughs> though it obviously gets processed, comes from a natural thing. It being natural doesn't actually mean anything. It can still be harmful. Diet soda gives me a headache. I crave it once in a while, that like TV static taste. I don't know, I crave it. Thai basil is one of the best things about Thai food in my opinion. You know, just the, that flavor profile of the, the basil, the chili, garlic, sugar. Those are the, a lot of the ingredients they put in. Uh, thai cooking, Thai food. Has Foodie ever tried cooking Thai food? Someone tell me. I feel like we haven't seen it on camera. She did a lot of like the African food, or at least she had that one stew, peanut stew thing at the very least. I'm surprised she's had several kicks in the past where she's been like, I'm gonna make takeout at home. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna make takeout at home. I'm surprised she hasn't tried Thai food. Or it could be, it's on her mind because of where she is right now, but. I'm surprised we don't see more than that during her health kicks where she believes no matter how she cooks it, it's healthier from home. I don't know. I think we're probably just going to stay in the hotel today. What was option B? <laughs> because. Because you don't want to move. That's why we were out yesterday. Well, we were out <laughs> from lunchtime to like early afternoon until like. 11 p.m. at 8. Alright, so maybe that was uh, Salah's birthday. Maybe, like, the part of the vlog we saw is when they filmed it. Or later. Might have even been, like, after midnight. I can't remember when we came in, but... I started editing. And I am passed out. I didn't even realize. And I'm just, like... <laughs> woke up abruptly and, like, oh... And Salah had conked out way before me. <laughs> Foodie was still here. It's weird because he's in better shape than me, but 
being out all day, I think, it, you know, it tires him out more. She seems really keen to tell us that. It's giving very big. Thin people eat badly too, guys. It's that whole, look, I'm not in bad shape because Salah slept too. Like, you can have a full day out and be tight. It's not me. It's not because of my health issues. Look, Salah was tired first. Like, what does she think she's proving? Yeah, so he passed out way before me. And, uh... So, yeah, he passed out before me and... Fuck. <laughs> she's been saying this for a full... I've cut bits out. She's been saying this for a full minute. She's repeated it three times. <sighs> it was such a long day. It was his birthday, but it was super fun. Oh, okay, yeah. Like, super, super fun. Um, I don't know why a timeline's confusing me this much at the moment. <laughs> I think I'm just tired. I didn't complain once about the heat, about how far we have to walk. Okay, and I find that my life is so much more positive when I act that way. Like, it takes effort to check myself and really try. But I will wait and see that vlog and see how much she did, but... Yeah, like not going in overly negative will make everything easier for everyone. Imagine thinking of how other people might feel. I find it like it's so much better. Like, it was hot as usual. And we use our, we use our like map GPS, but like sometimes something is further to walk than we realize. So, <laughs> some like the old, like I used to complain, like, oh my gosh, we still have to go this far. But she must just be a peach to travel with, mustn't she? <laughs> So that's just having the time of his life. Now I just suck it up and do it. And... There is actually, while I'm making fun of her a little bit, I'm being a bit snarky, but there is a grain of truth to that whole thing where the more you do, the less inertia you have because that was the problem she had before whereas once she starts sitting in a room and doing nothing but eat, she wants to do nothing but eat. And Thailand, for all, it has been overly long and that's still suspicious and they definitely seem to have not been prepared for a long journey. That was something else. She did mention at some point in her life that she'd run out of uh, medication. So they clearly did not plan to be there this long. And I do wonder what's holding them up. But as I said right at the beginning of this trip, even with these days in between, she's done more here than I was expecting her to do. And it does have an impact. Honestly, another lesson I've learned here Inspire me. Um, you know, you could just wait to the end of the sentence. Let us sit with whatever you're about you to impart. The more you can. Yeah. Which, Seriously. Yeah. Practice and all that. Huge pieces of basil. Like, I'd probably take that bit out and then just like have the general taste of the little pieces that are still in. That's enough balance for me. It does add something to the flavor, but it would be too much. When I used to work for the Red Cross, I would... Did she just say she used to work for the Red Cross? Did she say that? She worked for a hospital. Did she work for the Red Cross? I don't remember that. There were, it was like in Cornwall, they're closed now, but... There was a in what capacity? new Japanese restaurant that opened up. And this was like in 2015, maybe? No, it can't be. It was earlier than that. I don't remember. Because I started YouTube 2017 and I worked at the hospital. So, God, did she start in 2017? Man, time has flown. But anyway, all that to say, there was a Japanese restaurant. They would have this Thai basil with shrimp dish. And I would get that almost every day, but I would have to like beg them, I swear, like put them and remind, like ask them and remind them constantly, put extra basil, please, I'll pay, I don't mind. And they would still put just a few basil pieces. Chances that younger Chantel phrased it like that. <laughs> Chances. This is Meanwhile, the restaurant is like, would you just can eat it the way we prepare it? Thank you. It's like so much basil. I saw some, this restaurant had also Penang curry. I think Pen... Why is she saying it like that? Penang, right? Penang is in Malaysia, isn't it? Yeah. Actually, my friend went there. She worked in Malaysia. I, My friend who lives in Canada that I talk about 
we've had kind of uh, we met when we were both working in Japan and then uh, she stayed in Japan and I went to China and uh, I went to Indonesia and she went to Malaysia so we've kind of pinged around and um, she went there and she said it was really nice oh babe I'm full so full that you're gonna leave the rest of the food yeah Thank you. You want to try a bite? Too much. Yeah. But it's kind of spicy, so I don't eat the chili. He sounds very Here's surprised. <laughs> try this. There's too much stuff. <laughs> There's too many mixed flavors, eh, for you? He really doesn't have an expanded palate, does he? Which is, well, no, that's unfair to say. I'm sure he's got certain types of food that he prefers, but what we've seen from him, like, even when they first moved in and they were in Salah's room right at the beginning, like, he likes his chicken nuggets, he likes his fries, he likes very simple food, he likes his bread, his hummuses, whatever. But he always, or she always, presented him as someone really well-traveled, and it's kind of surprising that he doesn't have a wider palate then. No, no, you said you were full. You said full. Mm. Mm -hmm. You were very clear in saying full because YouTube is listening. Yeah, you can tell. So good. You Thumbs can tell up. it's made like sometimes you get a shawarma from like a place that's just like doesn't actually make the shawarma meat. They just cut up chicken and oh, like, it? you know call it shawarma. <laughs> yeah, we're full. It's okay. Really good shawarma has a certain spice to it. I think is it like seven spice? Just so full, you guys. <laughs> he said there's too many things in this. Honestly, whenever I make sauces that have too many things, like he says. I want to know when the last time that was and what the meal was. I blend it. I pulverize it. Like, till it's just a sauce. <laughs> Sorry. She blends his sauces like a toddler. <laughs> It works. It works. I'm not knocking it for children. She's really leaning into this whole, yeah, we can't tell if he's my husband or my son narrative that's been going around, isn't she? Like, no, I, I blend up his food so my little darling will eat it. <laughs> Jesus. I know what he likes now and I know how to prepare it. He's such a big boy. He eats all his vegetables. I'll give you a gold star. <laughs> Get a point on the chart today, love. Being here has actually made me appreciate groceries and cooking. I cannot wait to go to the grocery store. If she ever manages to return to Kuwait, I would like to know how long that lasts. And buy some groceries and cook something for my husband. Husband. Myself. Is she actually choking on the word now? You guys. I have it's some exciting things coming up. Exciting for me anyway, maybe not for you guys, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, I have my suspicions. We'll see. If you guys are excited or not, but I hope so. <laughs> God, that is a big spoonful, man. This is so delicious. I thought we were full. Now there's a beezer. I haven't forgot it for I haven't forgotten about you, love. <laughs> I don't know why her using the word love pains me, but it does somehow. Who asked me to try pumpkin curry. That's Thai pumpkin nice. curry. I would actually not mind her making that. You know how usually during Vlogtober, as long as it goes, she just remakes that pumpkin Alfredo every time? A Thai pumpkin curry sounds like it would actually be delicious. She should try making that on camera. So before I leave here, I have to try to, to, to find that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Pressed it when I didn't mean to. Actually, I'm getting full, so. Are you listening, YouTube? It's a regular meal. I don't Actually, do this for doing money. It's a good habit with food on camera. Definitely a good habit. YouTube, I'm building good habits. Stop me when I've had enough. This is a. Stop him when I've had enough. What are we eating next? 7 Eleven cheesecake. No I'm chemicals. Sure you guys know this, but... Oh my god, that's gonna go. Oh no! Nope. I was about to say that's gonna go everywhere, but it's okay. She smeared it on her face. It's like um, 
definitely not behavior that's at all strange to do with food. I don't need to lick every packet. The cheesecake has like a moussey texture. It's and there's a graham face. cracker. Yeah, it's a cheesecake. Wipe your face. What are you doing right now? Crust. If you can see that. Looks fine if slightly cheap and overly processed. Wipe your face. Let me show you on a bite. How about that? <laughs> How about you just, see, like you said you were full. Cracker crust and like a blueberry pie filling. Yeah, it's it. a cheesecake. <laughs> oh, dude, that was the worst way for her to clean her face. Please don't do that again. Mm. Is there an alarm going on in the background? That was the she's full alarm. Stop her from eating the pie. Cheesecake is the best. There's a team coming. There's chocolate. Well, a piece of chocolate. They glue the cake with chocolate to the bottom. Oh. Yeah. I always break my spoon. Well, maybe be less rough with it. Get some real cutlery, but also for what? God, I keep doing that. For what she's eating, which is rice and like a cream cheese base. There is nothing here that would break your spoon other than you. Oh, you know, I think I'm going to save this also in the fridge for later. Later being the moment I turn off this camera. <laughs> oh, I'm shady today. I apologize. I'm making presumptions. Cheesecake is very rich, you know, and I've had enough food right now. So those spring rolls were filling, but that's what I was craving. I'm like, I'm like what am I going to do for my video today? I thought I'll do a mukbang in the hotel because I'm not going to go out. Right. And, you know, I know what you're probably thinking. I did the John Fair street food. I'll probably do one more street food video before I go. But I don't have as much as an appetite as I normally would in like a You've just eaten a huge portion of rice, an entire serving of large spring rolls, some sausages and half a piece of cheesecake. What are you talking about? You know, sitting down, enjoying my food in the AC. The street food, a lot of the places, a lot of places do have little chairs to sit, but it's like outdoors, it's hot. I don't have an appetite when I'm super hot, you know? So this is more chill for me. That's why I like these more. That and the only person filming her is herself. So, and it's less noisy. Like, yeah, you know. But I, I was saying, I was saying, I do. We, I, I would love. We would love. We want to definitely go someday, inshallah. I would love to go to Malaysia, Indonesia. It would be so awesome. Um, is this leading up to? <laughs> Oh, guys, we've decided to extend our trip to a different country. It's coming. Because Malaysia and Indonesia are primarily Islamic countries. That wasn't my experience when I lived in Indonesia. There were, I think, five major religions, but they, um, they were actually really respectful of each other. They uh, tended to coexist quite easily. They have a huge Muslim population. It's been a little while since I've been in Indonesia. So that would be awesome. Anyway, uh, that's about it. Still got blue moon <laughs> face. Something on. What? what on your face? Yes. <laughs> I don't care right now. What I'm. She doesn't care. She's actually talking about the double denim. Like the hat collection is growing in both size and magnificence, but. Uh, yeah, this was a choice, but you don't care so much that you're mentioning it. Staying in, I don't care. I am going to do a lot of editing actually today. And so stay tuned for more vlogs on our couples channel. I'm here. More into that and less of the foodie, foodie side. I, I would say I'm not really into either of it, but I'm here. So there you go. All right. So, um, that's about it. I thank you guys so much for tuning in and having dinner with me. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.
Okay, bye bye foodie. And that's where we are, still hanging out in uh, Thailand, still expanding the hat collection, still putting Sala on camera. I wonder how much longer that will last. We will see. And when we find out what comes next, I will be here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.